Hey, what is going on guys? I'm going to show you how to change the wallpaper on your iPhone 10 on your home screen as well as your lock screen. Okay, so very, very simple. I'll also go over some of the live photos where you have the animation as well. So first thing is just go into your settings here and then from settings you want to scroll down and you want to go down to where it says wallpaper. Tap on wallpaper. Now this is the default here. Okay, so choose a new wallpaper. Tap up here. And then from here, we can do dynamic, stills, or live, okay? Dynamic does like a slow like animation, fades in and out. Stills are basically just still photos. And live or live photos is basically if you press and hold down the screen, it'll do like a little animation, okay? So for example, if we do dynamic here, you can go ahead and pick one of the dynamics. And this is what it's going to do in the screen. If you take a look, you can see it slowly going in and out. And if we click on set, now we can set this on just on the lock screen alone or the home screen alone, or we can set it to both. Okay, so that's basically what the dynamic does. Let me cancel that. And then we're gonna to go to stills or just basically just pictures. Still pictures, the default one is down here as you can see. And then we also have live here. Live is basically, if you, pre if you press and hold, it says press on screen to see this wallpaper animate. So if you just press, press and hold, you can kind of see it moving like that, okay? And then we can, of course, we can go ahead and click on set, and then we can put it on only the lock screen, the home screen, or set on both. The thing is with the uh, live animations, uh, the live photo, it only works on the lock screen. It won't work on the, um, the actual um, uh, home screen. So for example, if I set on both here, so now we have the, um, you can see it on the home screen here, but you get no animation. However, on the lock screen, if you just press and hold, you can still get this. Now, another cool thing too, is we can put live photos in there as well. And you can put a picture on there. So for example, let me go ahead and take a quick photo here. So I'm gonna take a, I'll take a photo right here. Oops, that's a live photo. I'm, let me take a regular photo here. And I'm also gonna take a live photo. See this little icon right here? So, okay, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Now I just took a live photo, okay? That gives me the animation. So if I go back into settings here, and what you can do is that you can click on camera here, and then you can see the regular photo I have on here, okay? Actually, this is a live photo, but I can put it on still as a regular picture, and I can kind of move it around. I can zoom in, I can zoom out, and once you set it, it'll look exactly like that on the home, uh, the home screen or the lock screen. And if I go ahead and uh, choose the live photo here, so if I press and hold, basically a live photo is, uh, as soon as I, was, I, was, I left it on live photo and I went to take a photo, as soon as you take the photo, it basically records two to three seconds prior as well, okay? And of course from here too, you can go ahead and zoom in and out as well. And the same thing with regular still pictures too. You can go ahead, you can zoom in, zoom out. Uh, perspective is kind of like, I mean this is a still, Perspective is like, if you kind of like move it, it kind of like moves um, like a little tiny bit. But I mean, they're pretty much just about the same. Just perspective just gives you like a different kind of perspective when you start moving it around. It's hard to see on this particular uh, wallpaper. But for example, if I did another one here, like let's do a, um, let me just click a, uh, let's do a still here. And then you can see the perspective here. I mean, you can... If you look at the flower, it's kind of like moving as I move the phone just a little tiny bit and still is just a plain photo. Anyways, I'll go ahead and I'll set this. I'll set it to uh, both my home, my home screen and my lock screen. And now you can see it on my home screen and I also have it on my lock screen as well. So pretty simple. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.